Hello, my bean-loving peeps. This is Kat, aka Kakibot, and today I am not bringing you another video from Scotland. Today we are in the United States of America. We are here for our honeymoon. We are going to be doing a road trip around New England, which I always imagined would be the prettiest part of the whole place. But obviously, maybe it's going to prove me wrong. Maybe I'm going to hate it. Anyway, stick around to find out if I hate New England. We are starting in Boston, Massachusetts. This is our first day here, our first morning, actually. We came last night at around like, 8 but it was about 2 a.m. for us we were totally pooped so we basically went straight to bed and now we live across the street from Boston Common this is a huge park that's beautiful to walk around and watch some squirrels in but more importantly this is the starting point of the Freedom Trail and if you're interested in American history I think that Boston is a great place to start so that is the plan for this morning we're gonna walk around the two miles that is the Freedom Trail we're gonna take you with us and I know that on YouTube there are many videos about Boston that kind of do those classic things ding-dongs uh, those classic classic sites like the freedom trail but i hope we're gonna do more than that so stick around and hopefully we'll show you something that the other videos don't and you know if not you can at least join us for this little lovey honeymoony trip yay i'm a wife now just stopped at Tate, which is uh, a bakery that Kat specifically wanted to yeah. go to. So fingers crossed it's very tasty. We've got a, a slice of wholesome apple pie. Um, we're on the Freedom Trail and we're getting our history on and it's all very interesting. What's your favourite part of history? Uh, My favourite part of history? <laughs> <laughs> the Cretaceous period, I don't know. So we are now like one fifth into the Freedom Trail and uh, it's a lot of fun. I think that like the first bit is actually the most dense, that's why it took us so long. Uh, also, I mean, Simon still has his foot broken, so um, that's good because I can kind of stop around and take pictures. Uh, so it works out just great. I was kind of worried about uh, that and the practicalities of um, having a, an actual fracture, but it's fine. Um, yeah, this is our little pit stop. I totally forgot that the States were actually the one country that does uh, cold brew right, unlike UK. Do not ever get uh, cold brew in the UK. Uh, British people do not know what cold brew is and it sucks there. <sighs> <laughs> what was I gonna say? I totally forgot to tell you that one of the main reasons why we are in Boston and why we are on the Freedom Trail is Fallout 4, one of my favorite games of all time, where uh, honestly most of the main plot of the game is uh, kind of built around the Freedom Trail. If you ever played it, let me know in the comments below because I would love to know if you are a fellow Fallout nerd.
now we made it to the USS Constitution, which is over 200 years old, I believe, and it is actually still in use. So this huge ship, warship, uh, it actually goes out into the Boston Harbor about six or seven times a year. You can visit this ship for free and it is actually covered by the national parks, which was really interesting to me. And it also explains why uh, the gift shop has so many national parks memorabilia in it. I actually picked up this little national parks tote bag, yeah! I mean, we will be going to a national park later on this trip, but this was kind of like a half national park already. Yay! Our second full day here in Boston, Massachusetts. And yesterday we finished our day by taking the ferry from around USS Constitution, around the harbor, kind of in the into the city center. Well, not really, like into the harbor, but next to like city center adjacent. Then at night we went up north into Somerville to visit one of our friends. And that is a nice little residential area. And it really kind of struck me how much lively that area was. Uh, it is actually kind of like the end of the tram line right now, which opened just this spring. And uh, yeah, that area was much more alive, you know, a lot more restaurants and like music in the streets. And it was so much more fun than here in the city center. Today, it is supposed to be 25 or 26 degrees Celsius, which uh, is scary to me. So um, we got up super early because we are still a tiny bit jet lagged. We went to Tate, Tate like latte, to get some coffee and some breakfast sandwiches and some scrambled eggs and it was delicious. It's a great place. This was our second time there. This was a different branch but I truly recommend it. It's, um, it's a really nice place with a lot of choice and nice gluten-free bread. Um, yeah, um, by the way this is banana. Simon got him for me yesterday. Uh, <laughs> kind of at the first third of the Freedom Trail, which wasn't super practical. We had to carry him the whole way around the city. Anyway, he's great. He's for cuddles. Um, yeah, so today we're gonna go into the west. We're kind of gonna go towards Fenway Park. So join us for that and let's see what more Boston has to offer. Yay! to Fenway. Uh, we stopped by Newbury Street, we're walking through Newbury Street, which is this uh, super beautiful, I would say like a shopping avenue with these beautiful houses everywhere. It's kind of actually like when you walk through Edinburgh and you kind of feel like super distracted by the beauty of all the architecture. But here in Boston, everything looks super autumnal and Halloween-y and uh, I can't wait to show you really. One of the places that we visited this street for is the Levant Bakery, which I think that originally started in New York City and it was quite a viral big thing. Uh, it's these like big chunky cookies with like a lot of kind of semi gooey chocolate on the inside and uh, they do have a fall special which is the <laughs> fall spiced chunk or something like that I'm sorry the word chunk just cracks me up because I'm a child um, and then we got the walnut chocolate chunk one I think and we're gonna share them and uh, we're gonna show you how beautiful they are anyway I was so excited uh, this was like one of the top things on my list in Boston so yeah I'm gonna have a look oh, wow. you have the goo the goo. Um. Mm. Mm. This is everything I wanted it to be. I'm not really a thin cookie person in both 
<laughs> both meanings of that phrase. Um, but th these are so good. This is like my perfect cookie and I need to learn how to make these. It's so good. Simon, you need to stop shooting and have one or half. Fenway Park, which was built in 1912, which probably makes it one of the oldest baseball stadiums, if not the oldest in the United States. We came here because once again, this is a big place in Fallout 4. Let me show you how it looks in Fallout 4. But right now, outside of the Fallout world, this is just the home of the Red Sox team. Uh, I am not massively into baseball, but it is still so exciting to be here. And I love the building. Like I love the red brick against the green painted metal. I think it looks beautiful. I think it's in a way a bit accidentally Wes Anderson, actually. Um, I love it. I just can't stop taking pictures of it. And I know my sister would love it too. We were actually kind of hoping that we would be able to, you know, partake in a game. But I think that the last one was two days ago. So like on the day when we arrived, it was like the last game of the season. I didn't know there was a baseball season. Well, I do know now, and now you do too, <laughs> that um, at the start of October, that's it. And now this place is kind of more like a gig space, kind of event space for big concerts, um, which you might be into even more. Just got our car, our rental car. It's a Jeep. It's huge. We're not used to this at all. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Uh, amused. <laughs> Fine. It'll be good. It's, it's nice though. Look at this whole like Star Trek setup. Yeah. And so much space. We. Yeah, and I mean, also so much space there. We should uh, we should pick up some so, so, some murdery uh, hitchhikers. Sure. And it is day three of our honeymoon trip to Boston and we are at Harvard. You know, some people work pretty hard to get here, but we just took like a 20 minute metro and here we are success anyway last night um we <laughs> what can i say about what we did last night okay let me just go kind of um around it a bit because i don't want to demonetize this video but um in boston and you know massachusetts and some of the adjacent states uh some fun things are legal that uh, in a lot of european countries are not legal so we have partaken in some of the things that are legal here and then we had really good sleep and this morning excitingly we picked up our car and uh simon didn't really know what kind of car it would be and it is a huge jeep well i mean huge huge for european standards because european roads are tiny and you don't really want a huge car because that is impractical you will not fit anywhere but here you get away with it we also we also picked up some breakfast at an Israeli bakery called Bakey, which is kind of in the area of our hotel. So next to the Boston Common, essentially, now we're in Harvard. We took the metro here, um, the red line, it was pretty fast and it is quite busy here. I don't know if this is because it's weekend or if 
it's because everyone wants to say they went to Harvard like we did in our horrible dad joke. So this is United States oldest university or like the higher education institution. Uh, I think they opened in 1636 and originally it was school for clergy. Please join us as we stroll around Harvard campus. It is beautiful here. It is so autumny. Today I am having so many moments when I'm like, oh, this is like exactly what I was imagining when I was planning this trip in this part of year. So yeah, let's do that. And that marks our end of the start of our honeymoon. This was our first three full days here in the States, just visiting Boston for the first time ever. And we are going to be back. And I am so happy because uh, I want to go to some places again, to be honest, because it was 24 degrees on the first day and 26 degrees on the second day. Today, thankfully, only about 14, which is so much nicer. But yeah, the first two days were really like physically hard so we were you know we tried our best to see as much as possible but there were moments when we were like too exhausted too dehydrated gotta go home and yet we still managed to walk like 30,000 steps every day so it was yeah it was still full on and I'm happy I'm gonna come back and I'm happy I'm gonna take more pictures when it's more Halloweeny and maybe even like more full-on autumny although I would say that like now at the start of October, if you're considering visiting Boston, um, it is already pretty autumny and you know, people are kind of like leaning into it as well. So like they're bringing more of that vibe into it. If you are considering coming to the east coast of the States, I think that Boston is an amazing place to go. If you're Edinburgh based, then there's actually quite cheap flights. I think ours was about 400 pounds. Anyway, just to update you before I say goodbye. Um, Today we mostly did the Harvard thing and then we came back and we also walked around Beacon Hill which I think is one of the prettiest areas uh, in this city. It's so photogenic and so autumny. I know I keep using that word but that's what Boston in October is. It's very autumny or maybe here they would say folly. Now we're finishing our day at the Esplanade uh, here next to River Charles. It's really beautiful. People are having a great time just kind of chilling by the sea. Uh, the sun is hitting everything just right. It's beautiful uh, as you're going to see hopefully in some of the footage that I tried to take for you. Uh, yeah, we're going to wait for the sunset and then uh, we're going to chop off our feet because they are a source of a lot of pain right now. Um, yeah, I can't wait to spend at least half of tomorrow in our new car. Thank you guys for joining us. Don't forget to tune in for more videos in this honeymoon series, especially if you're interested in New England in autumn. Why wouldn't you? It's the best thing ever. And <laughs> yeah, don't forget you can also visit us on Instagram on KakiBot and KakiBlog. Alrighty, I shall see you soon.
What is it like? What's on the inside? A yummy, yummy, kind of traditional vanilla-y, almost cheesecake-y kind of texture. Ooh. Mm.